More than 90 riders today began their 900 mile journey from London to Cannes in France for MIPIM. The six teams of cyclists left City Hall this morning on the first leg of the ride from London to Calais. We're up this year, so I think um, obviously last year we had a brilliant year for British cycling with uh, Wigo and um, the Olympics, obviously uh, Team TV doing superbly well, so that kind of piqued a lot of interest and so we've got about 90 riders um, cycling this year. The cyclists who aim to raise more than £200,000 for children's charity Corum should arrive in Cannes on the first day of MIPIM. It's massive, it's going to be a huge, huge challenge and uh, I, ho I hope a really great trip as well. So there seems to be some great people that we're meeting from sort of all across the industry. Um, so really great opportunity for people to come together. Really. This year's event, sponsored by Broadgate Estates, features Olympic medalist Lizzie Armitstead, who will join the peloton for the final stage on Tuesday. Mayor Boris Johnson will also welcome the riders at the finish on Cairns iconic Quasette. So we're very proud to be sponsoring and uh, great that we're leaving for more London as well. It's a great venue for this uh, and PwC have done a great job with Brigade in terms of the breakfast as well. So it's all worked out really well from a logistics point of view as well. And Nick, team sponsor? Yeah, team sponsors this year, which I, I think is the second time we've done that. Uh, I'm looking forward to just get going, the same as Steve. Uh, it's been a hell of a, a big build-up to, to this, as it always is. So uh, just getting on the road, getting out there, forget the weather. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be great. What is it, 72 miles first day? So uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Looking forward to it. This year's ride is the 8th edition of the Cycle to Cannes, which began in 2006 and has so far raised £1.25 million for charity. Head to Estates Gazette's blogs page to keep up to date with the challenge every day until their arrival next week in Cannes. This is Nathan Cross for Estates Gazette.